Today I am starting a new project, a pair of socks. So the other day I got actually a request for a video in the comments section, which is great. If you ever have any questions about the French language too, you can always leave them down in the comments section. I will try to answer them directly there. Or if it's a little more complex, I might actually just make a video out of it. So the request was a video about the nu nu. So about when you see the pronoun nu in French twice, nu nu. For example, if you say nu nu parlons. So that is what I am going to explain today while I'm knitting my socks. So first of all, you need to understand that in French, the pronouns, when they're the object of the sentence, come before the verb. So when I say object of the sentence, I mean the person or the thing that receives the action of the verb. So the subject is the person or the thing that does the action, and the object is what receives the action. So if I say, for example, j'aime le film, here the subject is je, so me, I, the verb aimer, to like or to love, and the object of the sentence is le film. So this is when it is the full noun, but if ever, for example, you're talking and everybody already knows that you're talking about le film, you will usually use a pronoun. So in French, the pronoun that would replace le film would be le. But again, as the object, a pronoun as an object, you need to put it before the verb, but after the subject. So you'll just say, je l'aime, and that means I like it, it being the film, so je l'aime. And that's why one of the most known sentences in French is je t'aime. That's why the T apostrophe is before the verb, because it's the object of the sentence. Je is the subject. M A again is the verb, and the toi here is the object, and it comes before the verb. Je t'aime for mean I like you or I love you. Another example, je tricote la laine, which means I'm knitting the wool or the yarn. So again, if you want to replace la laine by a pronoun. This time it's feminine, so you're going to use la. So your sentence will be je la tricote. So that's how pronouns work in French. So now, in order to understand whenever you see nous, nous, or vous, vous, so these double pronouns, I guess you can say, together, is you need to understand pronominal verbs in French. So pronominal verbs is when the subject and the object are the same. And this can happen in several ways. So let's use, for example, the verb donner, which means to give. So yes, you can give something to somebody else, but also you can give something to yourself. So whenever you have these words, yourself, myself, ourselves, themselves, you will be using a reflexive pronoun. And that is when you have things like je me, tu, te, il, se, nous, nous, vous, vous, il, se, for the plural. So these are the reflexive pronouns which are used in pronominal verbs. So again, with the verb donner, I can say something like je me donne un cadeau, which simply means I give myself a gift. 
So that can be kind of sad to have to give yourself a gift. So it makes a little bit more sense if we use the plural pronouns because this can mean that one person gives a gift to another and that other person gives back a gift to the first person. So you can say something like Nous nous donnons un cadeau. We give each other gifts. So again, the nous nous here, it's kind of like the we and each other together at the start before the verb. Nous nous donnons des cadeaux. Vous vous donnez des cadeaux. You give each other gifts. With the same verb, you can say something like Je me donne cinq minutes pour finir ce livre. I'm giving myself five minutes to finish this book. So same thing if you say this, but with nous or vous, let's take vous, you're going to see these pronouns doubled to mean yourselves or yourself. So you give yourselves five minutes to finish this book. Vous vous donnez cinq minutes pour finir ce livre. Same thing with nous. Nous nous donnons cinq minutes pour finir ce livre. And just for another example with another verb, the verb parler, which means to talk or to speak to. So you can say things like nous nous parlons. We speak to one another. Or vous vous parlez. You speak to each other. So that's a good idea of a verb that is reciprocal. So one person does something to another and that person does the same thing back to the first person. But you can have other verbs in French which can be pronominal and they're usually actions that you're doing to yourself or to your whole body. But you kind of have to be careful around these verbs because, for example, if you're trying to translate into English, it doesn't really work because in English you don't necessarily say yourselves or ourselves or myself with these verbs. So a lot of these verbs are, for example, for actions that you do in the morning. So you can say something like Je me lève. So the verb here is se lever. Notice that this means to get up. So je me lève means I get up, but technically, because we have the m there before the verb, it would mean I get myself up or I rise myself, things like that. So in English, it's not really natural to say that. So you just have to memorize that in French, you do need to put it as pronominal. So there's a list of verbs like this. So again, things that you do in the morning, so, se lever, se laver, se raser, which means to shave, and se brosser les dents, to brush your teeth. So again, in English, for example, you just say, I shave, or we shave. But in French, it's a pronominal verb, so it'll be pronominal if you're talking about doing the action to yourself. So in French it'd be je me rase and for we oui, it would be nous nous rasons. So again you just need to memorize the verbs that are pronominal in French. Another example if you want to say I feel good or I feel well in French, it's pronominal, so it's the verb se sentir. So again, you'll be using the pronouns that will go before the verb. Je me sens bien. Nous nous sentons bien. Notice that for some verbs in French, the pronominal form can change the meaning of the verb. So for example, in French, you have the verb entendre which means to hear. But all of a sudden, if you put it in the pronominal form, s'entendre, this can have the meaning of to get along. So if you see something like, nous nous entendons bien, this means we get along well. Or things like, 
je m'entends bien avec lui. I get along well with him. And also notice that when verbs are pronominal, that doesn't mean that they always have to be pronominal. Because sometimes you don't necessarily always have to be doing the action to yourself. You could be doing it to something else or to another person. So for example, you have the verb laver. So you can say, je me lave, to say I wash myself, to kind of mean that you're taking a shower or a bath. But you could also wash other things like your clothes. So when it's like this in French, when you have an object that is not yourself, then it's no longer pronominal. Je lave mes vêtements. And finally, just notice that there are some verbs, not a lot, but there are some that are always pronominal. So with these verbs, you will always see them with the pronouns je, me, tu, te, il, se, nous, nous, vous, vous, et il, se for the plural. So a good example for this is the verb to faint in French, which is s'évanouir. So again, it's always pronominal, so you'll always see it as je m'évanouis. And again, with nous and vous, you will see things like nous nous évanouissons and vous vous évanouissez. Another verb that is always pronominal is s'enfuir, which means to run away. So again, you'll see things like il s'enfuit, he is running away, and the verb se méfier, which means to be wary of. So we can say something like tu te méfies de chiens, you're wary of dogs, kind of like you're kind of scared of dogs, don't really trust them, don't really like being around them. Or something like, vous vous méfiez de votre collègue. You're wary of your colleague. So that's the story about pronominal verbs in French. So I hope that's clear for you. And again, if ever you have any questions about the French language, you can always leave a comment and I just might make a video out of your question. So see you next time.